in my last video, I was talking about the subject of artists working for free, the epidemic that we have in our community, in our industry, of individuals, groups, and companies uh, approaching artists or expecting artists to work for free in exchange for some ambiguous notion such as uh, getting credit or developing professional experience, that kind of thing. And it's really gotten out of hand. And I feel compelled, as well as I'm sure you do, to do something about it, to really address it, and to go forward from here into the future in a proactive and very progressive manner so that we can educate others and really do something about um, eradicating this situation from our community and our industry once and for all. And, uh, what I'd like to share with you right now is some information that's come to me from two different sources. One is a comment that was left on the last video that I did entitled, Just Say No. No. Here we go. A lot of game companies in Holland only have unpaid internships for artists, designers, programmers, the people actually making the games, and only paid jobs for marketers, PR people, and so on, the people promoting the game. So the people actually responsible for creating the product don't get a penny, but the people selling the product do. It's insane. Yes, it is. It's crazy. There's no way that we should be putting up with it, that you should be putting up with it, that this community should be putting up with something like that. This is absolutely the tail wagging the dog. Imagine that. Okay, you've got the management aspect of the company who, who has the permanent jobs. I mean, they're the ones who are paid. They're the ones who have these employment positions in a video game company. So they're, they're producing video games. That's their product. That's their, their content. They're marketable content. And the people who are producing that content for them are all unpaid. I don't know what to say about that. It's just like beyond words. Anyway, the solution, first of all, is knowledge, is knowing. Knowing the facts, knowing what it is that you're actually giving away. All right, so check this out. What this is, is information that will really help you to understand how valuable what we do really, really is. And this, is, this comes from the United States Department of Labor, and it's the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is dated May 2013, a year and four months ago, so it's very recent. It's in a category entitled Multimedia Artists and Animators. It is a breakdown of the employment situation in the United States of America for animation artists and anybody involved in multimedia uh, creation under, you know, like a, in a creative capacity. There are 30,000, according to the United States government, there are 30,790 people, individuals, working in the animation and multimedia sector of the U.S. economy all throughout our country. The mean hourly wage, or what animators and multimedia artists are getting, on an hourly basis is $34.81 as of May 2013. That's rounded off to $35 an hour. That's what you're giving away. That's what we're giving away when we work for free. We're giving away an average of $35 an hour. We're giving away our creative labor and our creative input at the rate of $35 an hour U.S. The annual wage, the mean annual wage, you know, the annual salary that everything evens out at across the U.S., from coast to coast, north to south, is $72,400 a year. $72,400 a year. That's the average for an animator in the United States of, of America, hourly salary. There's all sorts of other statistics here. The top end is around $120,000 a year. That's what the top end artists are making in the animation industry in the U.S. The bottom end of it is $35,000 a year. So even if you're just getting the lowest rung of the ladder, for what it is that you're doing, it's coming out to $35,000 a year. That's what we're giving away. That's what you're giving away. That's, that is the value between $35,000 and $120,000 with the median being uh, somewhere around $65,000 to $72,000 a year. That's what we're giving away, folks. Just say no. No, if you know the facts, if you know what it is that's going on, it's going to help you understand exactly what our situation is and how we can move forward from here. There's maps here showing the disbursement of where the labor force is and how much 
people are making in all these different uh, in all these different cities. And there's even a county by county breakdown of where animation artists are in the United States of America. And I'm sure that this will help you out if you're in Europe or in Asia or in Australia, South America, wherever you happen to be, Africa, wherever you happen to be. This is the standard. The, the, US, the U.S. labor market for animation is the standard. So you know exactly what it is that you're, you've got on your hands, what, you know, what we're dealing with. You know, you know the picture, okay? You got, you, we got it. We know, we know exactly what it is. So there's no excuse now for not knowing. Just refer to the, to the statistics of the United States Department of Labor. I mean, our, the U.S. government's own statistics on where we're at as far as the value of our labor and our contribution to the workforce is concerned, okay? All right, check that out and you know, spread it around, let other people see it, and use it as a, as a guide to go forward from here. If you're working for free, if you feel that you're being pressured to work for free, that's not the way that it works. And you know, as I said, what we have to offer is of great commercial value. And these statistics prove it. They prove it. This is a very healthy, burgeoning industry, and there's a demand for what it is that you do. And if you're giving it away, the only person that you're hurting is yourself. And, and everybody else, because you're pulling, every, you're pulling us down. If you're working for free, you pull the entire community down. You devalue what everybody is doing, even the people at the very, very top. You're pulling all that down. So lift it up. Help us to lift it up.